Welcome to tutorial 6, recording a queue and a queue stack. First of all click on tutorial.exe to open the visualization. Right click on the spanner, select live, then right click again on the spanner and select perspective. Now size the window and move it either to the corner or onto a second monitor. Now click on the Magic Queue PC icon to open Magic Queue. Select the Lighting Demo. Magic Queue will then open in uh, normal mode. Size Magic Q so you can see both Magic Q and the visualization. Then we start by pressing the Layout 1 button. This opens Group, Position, Color and Beam windows. In the Group window, select the Mac 250 group. Then press the Locate button to turn the lamps on. Select a colour and a position. You can see the lights in the visualizer. We're now going to record the first queue. Find a free page by using the next page and previous page buttons to change page to a free page. Page is indicated just above the first fader. Press the record button. Magic Queue enters record mode. Comment window will show you that. And then press the S button above the fader that you want to record it to. Magic Queue records a queue on that fader. It creates a queue stack with just the one queue. Press the set button. and then press the S button above the fader again to name the queue stack. Type some text either using the on-screen keyboard or using your keyboard on your laptop. The name is then displayed above the fader. So then choose a new color and a new position and then press record and press the S button above the fader again to record the second queue. In the corner you can see that it says that there is two queues on this queue stack. Press the clear button to clear the programmer. You double click on the S button and it opens the queue stack window and shows you the queue stack with the two queues. By default it will use chase timing. You can also change it to queue timing if you want to run it in a more theatrical mode. Raise the fader and you'll see that the queues run. Press the queue timing button to change to queue timing and confirm yes. Now you press the go button to step to the next step. Select the fade field and enter a fade time in order to put fade times on each step. For example, three seconds. Now when you press the go button to step through the stack, the cues will fade.
to name the individual steps, double click on the name field and enter a name. You can do this for each queue in the queue stack and the names appear above the playback fader. 